Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Seven Onyx Channel. Today we're building the new. That's this is a new gunpla, and uh, the Blue Destiny Unit Three, which came out uh, at May, I think. Yeah, it came out probably at May, and uh, I got my hands on it, and I bought it, and so you know, I'm just gonna start the unboxing process. So first, box art, excellent, 100 score, give it to you. Side, we got some actions and it gives you the marking head weapons, tell you all kind of stuff that you can um, do it. And at the other side of the box, it does have an English or Japanese description of the mobile suit. When we open it, we'll see a, a shield part, the gun part, head part, polycaps, uh, marking. Uh, so we got some hands part, we got uh, the other guns, cannons. Uh, waist parts and we got some other shield parts the stickers uh, beam saber effect parts backpack torso uh, legs and backpack yes so next one uh, what we got is uh, we got more hand options we got a uh, we, I think this one is from the uh, gym ground type runner and we got uh, the uh, the exam mode clear, clear vision uh, here, and we got the legs, uh, the feet, ankles, uh, legs part, and we got some back skirt, side skirt, uh, legs again. We got a not non exam condition uh, camera. We got some torso, uh, joint parts. We got some other parts of the joints and when we open it we I always don't get it why all the new uh, new version of the uh, gun plenty to bring along with this kind of sh uh, bring this kind of a like an instruction sheet I don't really know why but anyway we focus on that so when we open it so we will see some uh, so we will see the so we see the instruction here all the instruction and well, next at the back introduces the suit introducing the marking introducing all the other stuff as well well I'm gonna see you at the review so wait for it Welcome back to the review of the Blue Destiny Unit 3. So this is the finishing of the whole suit. 
So as you can see, uh, you might ask him a question why it looks the design looks exactly the same like Blue Destiny Unit 2 and why it looks like Gundam Ground type. Well, technically in the story settings, the Blue Destiny Unit 3 is um, basically just rip off the design from the Gundam Ground type, but just uh, just change the backpack and change some some of the part on it and change the backpack. Yes, and. And it's basically the same design as uh, Blue Disney Unit 2, so that's why they look exactly the same. And alright, quit that setting. If, if you're interested in that story, you can go online and have a look at it. It's, it's a good story, I mean. And alright, I'm just gonna start saying some improvements. So the improvement to the old version is uh, the legs joint is uh, redesigned, so it doesn't have that weird problem where it's some of the part doesn't plug in for some reason and uh, and it improved the movement as well so now you now you got more moving angle yes so okay so start with the movement so first head front up 360 no problem at all no problem at all so shoulder shoulder can move 360 and hands can go up very well very well and so because the hand is using a double joint so you could achieve like RG movements so waist waist uh, probably twist uh, uh, near 90 degrees not quite 90 degrees uh, it can it can tw uh, this waist can twirl, uh, tilt front back front back for probably about 30 degrees 40 degrees yes the side skirt is uh, movable as well and the front skirt is an individual piece that you can move so it can achieve the movement like this and for the legs we can it's really bendable actually look is how bendable is this and go to the side no problem kick up it won't fall off very very good very stable movement and for the for the for the hands you can be twisting around 360, no problem at all. And also the shoulder piece, you can slightly pull it out. Sorry, my camera wasn't focusing, I didn't know that. Uh, so for the piece, you can slightly pull it out or you can put it back. So there's a move, so that's uh, movable as well. All right, I'm gonna start talking about the accessories. So first for the left hand, we have a normal weapon holding hand or they did give you a open hand for only the left hand. And also, we will have a machine gun and a beam rifle as well. It can be uh, holding on the hands of the mobile suit. And this time, for this only time, they give us a shield. Yes, that's normal. Give us a shield, really normal, but there's an extra marking on it. And this time, this is a new, complete new weapon, the twin, the beam twin cannon. And it could be, I'll show you later how to plug it on on the mobile suit. And next, we got a two beam saber effect part. Well, for the beam sabers, is that the, is that, is that the legs? Oh, so as you can see, I take off the legs booster, there's a beam saber in there, in right here. Sorry, my camera wasn't focusing in right here. So now you can just like, just easily put this back and there you go. So, so if we rip off the backpack, we can change it to a ground type, uh, ground type booster backpack. So this backpack is for space using. So if I rip it off, oh, if I rip off some of the parts, and if I put on a new uh, open up vent, it could be a ground type backpack. As you can see right here, I put in a new part in there, but I'm. Not gonna use that part, so I'm just gonna rip it off first. Okay, I kind of rip off the whole suit. So just a little mention, the backpack, I mean the the uh, ground type booster that I just showed you is really hard to snap it on. Once you put it on, you might need to use a bit more force to pull it out. So be careful about that; don't break the uh, back. And now I'm gonna show you how to put on the new cannon. So the, so this so first we put on the part. And then we 
will need to use this uh, cannon holder, like this handle. There's this handle, so remember the scope is facing the front, and you pull, you just basically just gently push it down. Okay, sorry. Um, gently you push it down. So there you go. And also you can put on put the shield on as well. Like this. So there you go, the twin cannon here. There you go, the twin cannon. As you, as you can see it's really good looking though. The twin cannon is really good looking. Alright, I'm gonna time to wrap it up. So this suit major improvements on the old model. Really liking it. Because I built an old model the legs joint has some like buggy issues. I don't I don't really sure why they have it but you know that's just a thing but this new version love it uh, improve the joints more movement and they did give us this awesome cannon and I really like it and I really think they did give you a lot of panel lining details so if you just use some panel just do some panel lining it probably looks better and definitely recommend you to buy it blue Disney unit one two three all worth to buy it just go and buy it and you will have a lot of fun with it so this is the end of the review hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more gunplay reviews and i will see you next time goodbye